Hi, I'm Eric Gudgeon, Vice President, Field Enterprise Architecture here at H2O. And I'm excited today to show you what we've built with Snowpark Container Services. A data scientist can now do distributed training with H2O3 or run driverless AI within the warehouse to train models directly on Snowflake data. You can then take those models and also deploy them using Snowpark Container Services so that data never leaves the environment. We've created a graphical environment for data scientists to do this process end to end, as well as still being able to do this through APIs in Python or use Snowflake SQL directly in a worksheet. So Snowpark Container Services really changes the game for a lot of data scientists. Let me show you how this works. So we start off using the eScore UI. You'll notice here we have a Snowflake tab. This Snowflake tab shows us the Snowpark container services that are already running within our environment. If I'm a data scientist coming in here for the first time and I want to create a service, I can click the Create Service button and then select the type of Snowpark container service I want to execute. I'm going to pick Driverless and then I'm going to select a pool which enab enables me to select CPUs or GPUs. I'm just going to give it a name. This is driverless AI. And what will happen is that that is now launched within the Snowpark container services. And it takes a moment for it to initialize. You can see it's not quite ready yet. If I click on this, you can see it's, it's pending as it starts. But if I go back here, it'll be ready in a moment. And there it is. It's up and running. If I click the link here to take me to driverless, I'll be prompted by Snowflake to authenticate. And then I'm immediately connected to my driverless instance within Snowpark Container Services. It's as simple as that. So we have a couple that are already running, and I have experiments already underway to show you how this runs. You'll notice that the driverless instance here is actually using GPUs. Let's go and have a look. I have my tab already open here, and you'll see that we've started an experiment. It's going through several iterations. I have GPUs enabled, and you can see that we're using those GPUs for each of these iterations of the experiment. All the four features that you're used to with driverless AI work in exactly the same way. It's really a nice platform to execute all your models on without the data ever having to leave the environment. I have an experiment that I finished earlier, and you can see here we have everything that we want to do within the environment. We can run interpretability. Uh, we can take the model and then go ahead and deploy it. When we deploy the model, we have a couple of different options. We can deploy it directly inside a Snowflake as a Java UDF or using the new Snowpark container services. And I'll show you how that works. We can go into the eScorer, um, select deployment, and go through and create a new deployment for, for Snowpark Container Services. And I had one already set up. So here we are, we actually have a model all ready to go. And this is going to call the function that will execute in Snowpark Container Services. So what's happening here is we're calling this model with the data that we need, and it's done, it's scored score that entire table. We can also go and ask for Shapley values to be returned and all the types of things that you'd expect to call through the model. Now, one of the things that's really powerful about um, using training within Snowpark Container Services is that we can leverage H2O3 as well. And so here, I'm actually in the process of building a model using H2O3. But if I look and show you this, this is actually running on a cluster of three nodes joined together. And this is all running completely within Snowpark Container Services. You'll see here the CPU meter as we, as we train, we're actually using all the resources across the environment to train this model. When we are finished with that model, it will be a model we can put directly into, into Snowpark Container Services and score in exactly the same way using a really simple SQL function to call our model. If I want to do everything through an API experience, 
we can run the notebook directly inside of the environment as well and then drive the experiments for both H2O3 and driverless completely through a API experience. And we even make that simple for the data scientist. So if we go back to our services, you'll see I have a, a notebook link as well, as well as one to the eScore UI so that we're able to um, do all of the um, all of the functions we need directly here. And you'll see that we have scored a number of different rows already. If I wanted to generate a worksheet, I can select my model and then just ask for, you know, a snowflake um, artifact to be generated. It might be data marketplace, it might be SQL, anything that you need to generate can also be put directly into the environment. And so that's what we've done with Snowpark Container Services. We're really excited about what this means for data scientists to easily build and deploy models within Snowpark Container Services and leveraging the ability to not require data to ever leave the environment. Please reach out to us. Uh, we're really excited to show you this and some of the other things we've been working on. I look forward to talking to everyone soon. Thank you.